Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about the top five easiest to use weapons in Call of Duty World War II. For those of you who want to take uh, take it on on the more casual side, you know, what are the easiest weapons to use? This is in no particular order. I mean, I'll try to give it an order, but I really don't like orders. I'm just going to tell you guys the five easiest to use weapons in this game. Now, it's important to remember one thing. These guns are easy to use, but they don't give you the most rewarding experience. They're not going to make you the best player in the world. You do have to use some other types of weapons to really be the best at this game. So I just want to tell you guys this right now ahead of time, um, just in case you're trying to be a bit better at this game than what you might already be. Number five for this list is actually the combat shotgun. That This gun in this game is pretty easy to use. You know, it's point shoot. You don't got to aim. You do have to get kind of close to everyone though, and the flame rounds make it easier to use, but you know, still, it takes a decent amount of getting used to, but if you're a shotgunner, this gun is easy to use. You can wreck with it, but generally speaking, some submachine guns and assault rifles do a lot better than the combat shotgun for actually wrecking people. But you know what, maybe you want to pop in some flame rounds, you know, the best thing about this gun that makes it easy is you don't have to aim with it. Aiming with it seems pointless considering it's got a bullet spread. Now, you're going to have to use it and get stuff like rapid fire and advanced rifling to make it a bit better, but overall it's still a fun and easy weapon to use. The next easiest to use weapon, number four, is the M1 Garand because, yeah, it may be semi-auto, but if you flank someone and they're not in cover, that doesn't really matter because it's the M1 Garand. It two shots people and you can put a red dot on it. Well, a reflex. I know they're called reflex. I call them red dots because I like that. Um, the M1 Garand is generally pretty easy to use. It's good for one-on-one -on -one combat, and you can use it at any range, actually, especially if you got a bayonet on it. You can shank people with that bayonet. You can shoot them twice to close range. It's very easy to use weapon, very easy to understand. And, you know, the attachments for it, there's a lot of them. So you can customize how you want to play with the M1 Garand, which is very important. But the only thing I guess that you got to worry about is it is a two-shot kill and it is semi-auto so you have to learn how to control the recoil but generally speaking of all the semi-auto rifles even the carab so I consider the carabin semi-auto even though it's a sniper the carabin the M1A1 the SVT and the Garand the Garand is pretty much the easiest to use out of all of them next up for easy to use weapons is the PPSH-41 it is a starting weapon and the recoil on it is a little weird, but that's about it. You know, it supports both the SMG spray and prey style and aiming in and slightly longer range combat, actually. You can get a couple people at a uh, solid medium range with this SMG, but this is an SMG, the PPSH, if you never used SMGs, it's really easy to understand and really easy to use. And, you know, it comes with more a lot of attachments, too, so you can customize it to fit your needs. Maybe you can't control the recoil and you put a foregrip on it. Maybe your aim sucks and you need rapid fire, you know, all of that good stuff is all on this gun. And like the Garand, which I didn't say with the Garand, the PPSH, it is a starting weapon that you need to spend. You need to spend an unlock token on it, but you you can have the ability to unlock it at level one. So you can get right into it. It's a great introductory class to Airborne too, because generally speaking, I think this gun does a lot of damage if you put the suppressor on it. The suppressor lowers damage, but... For the PPSH, it doesn't lower it as much as the other submachine guns, in my opinion. But it's just a very good weapon, accurate, all those things that really help you understand how a submachine gun works. Number two for easy-to-use weapons is actually the bar. And the bar is... It, it seems hard to use at first, but it's very powerful and, in my opinion, very easy to use. Because of its fire rate in the beginning... It teaches you the recoil very well, and then when you put rapid fire on it, you know how the recoil is going to work, and you just deal with it as a rapid fire gun. It's great, again, very customizable, and you know it's a very. By the time you unlock it, you should have some accuracy, and since the bar is a very heavy hitter for an automatic weapon, it's great for those accurate people, and it's great for. Uh, beginners to assault rifles too, especially automatic assault rifles. Uh, once you get into the M1941 and the FG42, use the bar first because the bar will kind of teach you how to use those guns a little bit better. And in my opinion, the most easiest to use weapon in this game is the SDG44 because, well, the only thing that's bad about it is its recoil is kind of average. 
but it does a lot of damage, pumps out a lot of bullets, easy to control, once again, has the customizability, but I think the big thing is it's the most overpowered weapon in the game. Like, that, and if you're pro, it's actually the Garen that's overpowered, but if you're a noob, the SCG-44 is the most overpowered gun in the game, and if you are new to this game, that is the only gun you're going to want to use until you get bored of it. Me, I, this is one of the last weapons I used in my trying to get chrome, which is gold on every weapon. I still don't have it yet. I just got the rocket launchers, but that gun to me is so boring to use because it's so easy to use. It, and you feel, I feel dirty when I use it, honestly. I'm like, I don't want to use this gun anymore. But for the new people, the casual people, the people that need easy to use weapons, the SCG-44 is like the easiest to use weapon. All right. Hands down, easiest to use weapon. Like, I know I said the, the other four were in no particular order. This gun is the easiest to use weapon by far, undoubtedly. It's just, it's easy to use. And that is it for this video, guys. Um, did you agree with your list? This is a list. Are there any other easy guns that you like to use in this game and be a jerk with? Share those all in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.